Malone. 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 Greetings. This is your favorite multidimensional and intergalactical being. And today we're going to dive into the diversity of the Syrian race. You may know or not be aware of it, but like any other race in this beautiful galaxy, the Syrians are very diverse. Because of the Orion and Draconi Wars, many had to flee their homes which were destroyed, looking for shelter in other communities, causing a beautiful and unique diversity to each race. And that is one of the reasons why there are such diversity in the species. So in the Syrian case, there are humanoid Syrians, elven Syrians, feline Syrians, aquatic Syrians, and the hybrid ones, which is a mixture of one or two or more species mixed together. If a hybrid is a mixture of beings, then you can imagine how interesting its language might be, because it uses certain characteristics of each dialect. In the beginning of my journey, I felt very much at home with the blue-skinned humanoid Syrians, and in actuality, they were my first real in-depth encounter. It's been over four years, and I can still remember that moment as if it was yesterday. But this story is for another video. The Syrian dialect that I connect very much with, other from the Elven, is a language that sounds somewhat similar to the Klingon language that is spoken in Star Trek. Everyone's experience might be different, and that is okay. Don't forget, we're not only looking at Series A, but we are also looking at Series B, and unknown to many, Series C. And if you haven't found your tribe yet, don't worry, just be open, because they will find you. So with no further ado, my view of what the Syrians look like.
This is my experience with them and the energy that they transmitted to me. So I hope this video has helped you. Feel free to comment down below if you've seen any of these beings. I would really like to hear your experiences. So until next time, live long and prosper.